you have the ability to go make a major trade with all the assets you've stockpiled, correct? I mean, you could do something of major consequence now. A fourth pick, you're, the way your roster is constructed, your youth, take contracts aside, because that's fans don't look at that nitty-gritty, and you may want to go to that. But you do have the ability, Ryan, to do something major in this offseason, don't you? I, I think we do, Brad. You, you know, obviously time will tell, and how willing the other teams are to actually pull the trigger, potentially pull the trigger, uh, will tell. But, yeah, you know, we've um, been pretty conservative with our cap space. Uh, we, we have a lot of cap space now. And then in, in July we have the ability to get um, to close to $30 million uh, in cap space pretty easily uh, or even more by, by making, you know, if you have a move or two that would be pretty easy for us to make. Um, and then, you know, we, we, as far as the draft picks go, we have all of our own picks going forward in the first and second round. And then starting next year, um, you, you know, from the Goran Dragic trade, we have Miami's uh, picks are coming. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, Miami's first-round pick next year is protected to seven. Uh, so that could potentially be in the mid to late lottery. Uh, and then we have their unprotected pick in 2021. So, um, you know, obviously in addition to the young players on our roster. Uh, so, so, yeah, yes, we do have options. I, I think we're among the first teams that, uh, um, you know, some of our rival teams call if they are thinking about moving one of their star players uh, we had some of those conversations around the trade deadline. Uh, we, we didn't feel like the, the, the timing was right or maybe the price was too expensive at that point. Uh, but we'll certainly look to, to revisit that and look at that, and that, that's certainly an option for us uh, you know, as we go forward here, as we get closer to the draft and then into free agency.